You're listening to Soundboard on WTJU 91.1 FM. I'm Rebecca Barless. Each year, the University of Virginia awards an individual or team whose research discovery is making a major impact with the Edlick Henderson Innovator of the Year Award. For the first time ever, a representative from the Curry School of Education has received the honor. Joining us today is this year's winner, winner <laughs> Marcia Invernizzi, um, Invernizzi, who has um, worked to develop assessment and teaching tools that are used in all 50 states and six countries to improve children's literacy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Um, so you developed the Phonological Awareness Literacy Screening, or PALS for short. Can you tell us more about what that means and how it works? Sure. Um, PALS is a universal literacy screener, and um, it's, uh, it's part of Virginia's Early Intervention Reading Initiative, which is a legislative policy initiative to prevent reading problems before they happen uh, by identifying at-risk children um, early and providing what's called early intervention or additional instruction to help them get over the hump before problems develop. Uh, one of the things that we know about literacy development um, is that the uh, the earlier you intervene with children who may not have had um, the advantages of a preschool in, uh, education or for whatever reason is starting out without the prerequisite sort of early literacy fundamentals. Um, the, the earlier you intervene by providing extra help, uh, the more likely it is that those children will succeed. So PALS is the um, state provided universal literacy screener in the Commonwealth of Virginia and has become the uh, universal screener for many other school divisions and states in the nation. Cool. Yeah. Um, and so what What's different about PALS um, as opposed to what has been used previously or what other places have been using? Uh, well, actually, Virginia was one of the very first states in the nation to adopt universal literacy screening. In fact, I think it was the first state in the nation to adopt universal literacy screening. So it really hasn't existed uh, anywhere else. One thing it's important to understand about PALS is that it's not um, the kind of assessment that people associate with um, the kind of testing that's going on in, in schools today that's part of an accountabil uh, accountability movement or uh, uh, outcome measure that results in high stakes, uh, sometimes very often punitive consequences. Um, uh, it's nothing like that. It's it's a beneficial um a screening tool that uh, simply is there to um, to alert um, teachers to the fact that, hey, if this kid doesn't get help now, it's likely that they'll be in trouble. So let's give them a leg, leg up and provide additional instruction. Um, so it's different from most assessments in that regard. Um, it doesn't result in any high stakes consequences. It only re results in good things, mm -hmm. which is extra help. And according to the policy initiative, the Early Intervention Reading Initiative, it's supposed to result in two and a half hours of extra literacy instruction over and above what the child would receive in the classroom. Mm. Um, what's different about also about PALS from other early literacy assessments is that it's very um, simple and what we call um, instructionally transparent. Um, so that it's it's comprehensive, but it's also common sense, and uh, teachers can look at the results and not only know which children need additional help, but also exactly what they do know um, and what they need to learn next. So it's also diagnostic. And and how long has this been around, or how long have you been working on it? Well, the initiative started. Uh, the the General Assembly passed the uh, initiative in ninety seven ninety eight. So. It's been around for a long time, and currently um, in Virginia, about 270, that 270,000 plus children are screened with PALS um, at least once a year, sometimes three times a year. Um, so we've been working at this for a long time, and uh, what we've developed over the years um, are a lot of supportive um, enhancements through the internet. 
um, so that teachers uh, can use what's called an online assessment wizard and score wi wirelessly without uh, paper and, um, and get immediate uh, interpretive results as well as a variety of interpretive reports both at the um, classroom and individual student level as and the other thing we've been able to develop is the ability to um, bank data over time so a uh, child entering the public schools in fall of kindergarten um, his or her literacy development can be um, uh, uh, monitored all the way through third grade and uh, we're working now on expanding that further. And so what have the results been since 1987 or 97? What, what did you 97, say? 97, 98 is okay. when we started, <laughs> yeah. Well actually, you know, we can't, uh, we can't uh, attribute causality to this um, without an actual experimental uh, study, but I can tell you that the results have been very encouraging. Uh, on a number of fronts. Um, first, uh, this has been a voluntary initiative and we have about 99% voluntary participation of all the school divisions in Virginia. Um, and that represents about 16,000 teachers and over 1,000 schools on a voluntary basis. So that's, that's one result I'm very, very proud of. Um, the other uh, result um, ha has been a reduction over the years of the number of at-risk children who have been identified in, in the fall, for example, of kindergarten. Um, when we started this um, about, what, I guess 12 plus years ago, um, w well over 20, 20 to 25 percent of the children um, in entering uh, kindergarten in the fall were identified as needing additional instruction as, as at risk for developing reading difficulties. Um, today, uh, that figure is, is down to 12%, so it's been steadily declining. Yeah. Um, now, we can't claim, um, uh, we, we can't claim responsibility for that, unfortunately, but I do think um, certainly the Virginia Preschool Initiative, another early intervention initiative uh, that Virginia adopted about the same time uh, has helped with that because children are entering uh, kindergarten uh, better and better prepared um, since the, the Virginia preschool initiative and we have a PALS pre-k um, that that pre-k uh, public pre-k uh, teachers are also using which which gives them the idea of the kinds of things that um, they should be preparing uh, preschoolers for as they enter kindergarten. And quickly, in our last few seconds, um, what do you hope for in the future with PALS? Um, well, I, I hope that m my goal is not only um, for there to be a reduction in at-risk kids and more and more children leaving their grade levels, reading at and above grade level, which is, which is happening. Um, but my goal is also that more and more teachers will actually use the, the diagnostic information um, that the PALS Internet uh, database provides. Um, it's one thing to actually participate in the universal literacy screening, um, identify kids and make plans for providing early intervention. It's another to actually use the diagnostic information to differentiate instruction in the classroom, and that's, that's my hope. Um, and that we can uh, continue to develop this uh, wholesome system of assessment that informs instruction all the way through eighth grade. Great, Marsha, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. That was Marsha Inver Nizi, 2013 recipient of UVA's Edlick Henderson Innovation.